Uh, hello, welcome to my channel. So today we're talking success. Define success. Who do you define as successful? So today I'm talking about the most successful male ex-housemates that have ever graced BB Ninja. When I talk about successful male housemates, I'm not talking about winners because as a winner, you have an edge, right? I am talking about people who left the house even before the finale or people who left on the finale and not that they came second, some third, fourth, fifth, but some left even weeks before the finale. So today I'm going to talk about, I want to talk about them. These are people who have defiled all odds to be successful. First on my list is Ebuka, of course. Ebuka was the seventh housemate to leave the BB Ninja house in 2006. He was a housemate in the first ever BB Ninja that came to Nigeria. And since then, he has hosted several shows. Ebuka is a trained lawyer. He's schooled in the University of Abuja for his first degree. And he has two master's degrees from a, from a university in the United States of America, New York to be precise. And since 2000, between 2006 to now, Ebuka has, Ebuka has four programs on television. He has three on television and about one on YouTube. And he has hosted several events, several events, top functions for corporate organizations, federal government, state government, name it. He also works with corporate brands as an influencer and as a brand ambassador. Like presently, he's a brand ambassador for Budweiser, Samsung, name it, several other, you know, top, top corporate organizations. That's how much influence he has. So, Ebuka hosts Big Brother Ninja on DSTV. He also has, a, he's a host of a Black Box on Bounce Networks, YouTube. He hosts Robin Mind every Sunday, 3 p.m. Channels News. And also, and also judging matters which airs on African Magic Showcase every Monday by 6 p.m. Usually 30 minutes has to do with um, the, like a, something like a court that handles low cases, cases that are not too complicated. That's like it's more like a lower court, like a lower court. Oh, well, then this is Black Box interview where he interviewed Banky and his wife. And also the first ever black box where he interviewed the video for the first time the video opened up about his mom this that's one of the best interviews i've listened to then we have robin my channels 3 p.m every sunday he interviews lots of people and then of course judging minds that's like my fave i love the show so much i never miss it and as a host he has hosted several events he has worked with so many people name it and then this is the actually first show he ever hosted, Friends and Four, which, which aired on NTA then in 2006. And of course, as a brand ambassador of Budweiser, he has a fridge in his house. This is Ebuka in his ambassador mood. And then we have Miyonsi. As he says, Miyonsi is a chef, a professional chef, one of the best in Nigeria. He has worked with so many brands. He was a housemate in BB Ninja 2017, Sego Bay. That's Bisola said. He has worked with so many organizations. He has a series on you. He acts a series which airs on YouTube. As a chef, he's doing fantastically well. For somebody who didn't even stay in the house for up to two months, he has done so well for himself. And I am really proud of him. So for all your cooking events, don't forget Chef Miyonsi. And then we have Kimen. Kimen, 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 a fitness expert. One of the best in Nigeria. Considering how Kimen left the house, I am super glad to see him excel so well. I'm excited to see him do so well for himself. Outside the house, he's actually a gym instructor and he works with lots of celebrities. Just he's a celebrity gym instructor. You can't talk about a fitness expert in Lagos without mentioning Kimen. Like he's top five he's so good with what he does so dedicated he owns a fitness house and honestly kimen is doing so well for himself so of course you can't list successful male housemates without calling kimen kimen was a housemate in bb ninja 2017 segobe 
then guess who we have next toby bakri toby bakri an actor a model an analyst an mc a published photographer he's also an artist let me add that i'm surprised he didn't put it on his bio he's a fantastic artist like he draws so well toby is so good when it comes to uh, he's so talented eh? he's multi-talented there's almost nothing toby cannot do and here is what his instagram wall looks like like a marketplace where he advertises his crafts i love it toby acts he has acted in movies cinema movies like very good movies he has hosted lots of events he, he's a brand ambassador to several brands name is what can toby do he's so good toby is fantastic he has hosted very big events very big event. and he has also sang i think i said it before so that's toby toby is doing so well for himself and before he got into the house toby was actually an investment banker he was working in the bank before he resigned and went into bb niger because he wanted to be an entertainer he wanted to go into the entertainment industry and he knew that the only platform that could give him that push was bb niger so he went into bb niger in 2018 bb niger double wahala where he was the second runner up second runner up and so far so good toby is doing so well for himself so up next we have fraud 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 was a housemate in bb niger pepper them 2019 fraud is into lifestyle he's also a real tall he sells houses but the bulk of his money comes from night lifestyle he hosts events, does a whole lot of stuff, thanks to Obikubana. More often than not, you see fraud in the midst of some top Igbo billionaires. Like he has hacked into the fraud is doing so well for himself. So so well for him. Fraud is the poster child for hard work pays because he works really hard. And seeing him this successful has always been a dream. He was actually my male fave in his season. That's BB Ninja Pepe them. So up next we have Sadi. Sadi was also a housemate in BB Ninja Pepper Dem season 2019. Sadi Sadi presently acts dilemma on African Magic Showcase weekdays 8 p.m. Such an interesting series. He plays the role of Tahir Waziri. He's such an amazing actor. I think you should watch this series. If you don't watch this series, of course you can catch up on Showmax too so that is sadi sadi has done well for himself i'm so proud of him because the role he plays on this series is like a semi-lead role he appears almost every other day so so far i'll say sadi thumbs up so proud of you up next is ozo ozo emana chukur for ozo he lives dreams and eats sports ozo's life centers around family education and sports it is that this we are the words he said the first night he walked into the house when the housemates were introducing themselves i say this with so much smile because i still remember it's like it happened yesterday i was like who is this fine guy this guy is so fine but mm, fine guys can be annoying but surprisingly he turned out to be my favorite guy my best guy i love him so much so far ozo has like three jobs he's a manager with juventus academy nigeria he's a brand manager he also has a show, Umbrella FM, Rewind with us on Wednesdays, 4.30 p.m. He also has a, sh a show he co-hosts with two other amazing sports personalities, The King of Football Show by Budweiser. It usually airs on Super Sports on Sunday and, some, and repeat episodes on other days of the week. He also owns Epiphany Management, a talent management company that deals with communication, sports talent. Like He has lots of talents who are sports into sports he has lots of talent as his clients so that is also for you also so far has done so well for himself usually you see us in the midst of very very top sports personalities when also is not hosting the king of football show he's having interviews regarding forex or he's serving as scarf representative you would also see us as a guest on several sports programs because that's actually one thing he loves very this is also working as a rep as a representative of calf this is also for Budweiser you know that's the brand he works with he's an ambassador for Budweiser so you also see also doing adverts for Budweiser and on the other side also loves football so you also see him in various countries 
watching football. Uh, you will find him watching live football from the stadium in different countries. You also see him with the likes of Kelechi Henacho and Ndidi and also as a sports enthusiast. When it comes to the world of sports, I must confess, Ozo's name is written in gold. He's well known among the top sports personalities. He has done so well for himself and I am so proud of him. Shout out to the BB Niger franchise for changing this boy's life, for making his dream come true. And I am sure he's ever grateful. Up next is Prince. Prince Nelson Ewerem is from Imo State. He left the BB Nigeria house three weeks before the finale. And so far, he has done so well for himself. Prince is into, he hosts events, he's an actor, he runs, and he runs a very big hair salon known as Hair Royal. So that's all I have for the most successful BB Ninja ex male housemates. One thing I want you to take from this is that the fact that you left the house, if you have the opportunity to be in Big Brother Ninja house, make sure you give a good account of yourself. If you know what you're passionate about, always speak about it because you don't know how long you're going to stay in the house. But even if you're going to stay for a week, just keep talking about what you love, your dreams. That was how Ozo was. Ozo was very particular. He was very intentional. He excelled in sports activities. People knew he was good with sports. Even before he left the house, Brunt had approached his management, his sisters, telling them that they would like him to work, they would like to work with him when he left the house, you know? So that is the same thing with Prince. Prince was known as the guy who used to make the ladies' hair in the house. On Sundays, you see him making people's hair and all that. And that's just it. That's life for you. So most times, I always tell people, when you have the opportunity to be in Big Brother Nigeria house, don't wait. Don't, your aim shouldn't be to win. If you win, fine. But just know that one person is going to emerge winner. And what will happen to others? Give a good account of yourself. For the sake of yourself, your career, your family, and your fans. Thank you very much. I forgot Elozona. Please, please, please. I forgot, but I can't say so much some other time.